So Satisfactory 1.0 has already dropped and people are wondering how to make a dedicated server. Well, hopefully this video will help with that. So for a start, we're going to make a folder and call it whatever you want. And once we open it, we've got all this is empty. Well, now we need to go and get Steam CMD, which you can just simply type Steam CMD. And you go down here, get that download. Once you've got it, you can drag it in the folder. And what we want to do now is we want to extract it into this same place. And what we can do is delete the zip file and drag it back into the main folder. We can delete that other folder now. We just want to open it now so that you can fully download the program. And once the package is installed, you will be able to quit. And you can just close the window or type quit. So that process is done. What we want to do now is create a new text document and we're going to call it update. And this is what we're going to use to update the server. What we want to do now is go to the dedicated servers uh, satisfactory wiki and we're going to scroll down right here we want to copy that and paste it in here so what this is going to do is get steam cmd to force install in this uh, directory uh, using anonymous login and that's the code for the app you can also change this to experimental if you want to download the experimental version what we want to do now is save as and within satisfactory server what we want to do is update dot bat and all files we change save as type all files and bat batch file so now we should be able to save it and it should be okay but if we want to make this match this what we want to do is click outside here and we can copy that thing the direction and change it completely and now if we save again now that will be updated to update it inside here so we can minimize that as long as we saved it what we want to do now is update.bat and this is going to go through a process but now to log into the server whoever wants to be the administrator needs to be the one to log in first so what we're going to do now is open the command prompt window and type your IP config and the one you want to look for is that one there so IPv4 address that's what you want and with that you will be able to log in to your own server but if you want others to log in into your server you'll have to open the ports 7777 and you'll have to get your public IP address just type your public IP address and it should come up right there now what we're gonna do is wait for all these to update and we'll be back shortly so now it has finished updating so what we need to do is if you don't don't seem to be able to find it should be a folder called satisfactory now but if you haven't been able to find it at this point in time make sure 
that if you edit the update.batch file that you've got this correct or perhaps you could have put it on the desktop so just check this if you can't find the folder or leave it as default and find it what it's saying that could be easier so now that we've got the satisfactory folder we go in it and what we want to do is um, open it it'll go through a bit of a process here just allow if you're on Windows 11 if you're on Windows 10 uh, put it on private and public and allow it through the firewall so at the moment this is now working but what we need to do now is go to satisfactory itself now once we're in satisfactory that IPv4 from the command prompt is what we're gonna use at this point so we want to add it in the server manager as as IPv4 so add server the port that you need to open is 777 if you have plug and play enabled on your router it might already be okay so the address that we're going to put is 192.168.0.41 that is my personal IP at this point so if I press confirm It'll ask for something and now you can rename your server we're gonna rename it test and then press confirm now you're gonna set up your admin password it could be anything that you want so it's gonna be one two three four and the password just put one two three four for example and this is how you are gonna log in or any other admins so let's go in now that you're under test so you can change all the settings the, the server could be called whatever I'm gonna call it test you can change the admin password you can change the password for anybody else to join uh, you can change all the settings as well manage saves you can even use your own saves from satisfactory you can see what's going on there on the console send commands now we're gonna start here uh, let's call it test and start the game here one thing to mention as well if anybody wants to join you they can join you through join game and the IP address but if there is a password an encryption token they're gonna have to add the server here as well like you just done but put the password not for admins but for uh, any other user so now let's press confirm now the server is preparing the game this might take a while but it will work let me know if you have any problems getting to this point but they have made it a lot easier now you only need port 7777 to be able to access it if anybody wants to join you that is not in your local network they will need the public IP address I recommend always put in a password and have them add the server this way you could also join the game and if you don't have a password they might be able to join you now that this it has been successful now the server is created if we press join game now we should be joining the new satisfactory dedicated server so as we can see it's working very well working smooth and you the first person to join the server will be able to have all these items the second person that joins the server will not have the startup items well hope you enjoyed and have fun and make that factory big take care